Hey, what's up guys and welcome to my 100th Iron Man video. And the first loot that we're going to be getting from Araxor, and I'm going to be doing a shit ton of Araxor in this video, is Onyx Bolts. That's not too bad at all, so I'm going to be banking that, and uh, yeah, let's get into the video. Oh, that's pretty good, two onyxes, I have 51% charge on my death touch bracelet, and I guess my amulet of souls is like 60%, so I will have to use these pretty soon for recharging, so that's pretty good. Now that I feel like I've thoroughly experienced the reaper necklace and how good it is compared to the amulet of souls, I can clearly say that with my gear and my current tier weapon, it's not very good, because the fights are actually very long, even though I have that extra accuracy, and while I take so much damage, even if it's like 50% uh, enraged, I can't really do it that well, like look, I have this much food left, and it's like 50% enraged. So yeah, it's not very good, I don't think, I think the amulet of souls is way stronger for me I think that when I do get up tier 90 and I get the Reaper necklace I'm not really going to ever miss anything so I think that's uh, a good point where you should use it let's see what I get real quick well, that's pretty sad I kind of need it for fletching though so it's not too bad I guess that's I'm 81 now by the way so I need eight more levels in that so I can uh, make the uh, ascension crossbow when I get the last signet so overall I've done 20 kills in this video now and I've not got anything that I haven't shown you guys so it's not been very good. Uh, I can only do 5 more which is the ones I'm going to be doing in this trip and the reason to that is because in one day the paths are going to change and I have no more pheromones and I can't do more than 5 kills before I cannot kill it anymore. Uh, so I'm just going to show you guys every single loot from now on so let's do 5 really fast loots and let's see what we get. Alright 6 U-logs, not too interesting. 600 U-logs. Second kill is going to give me some uh, Hydrix ball tips. Sweet, I have like 700 of them now. Alright, for the third kill I get some weed. Not bad. My sharpshooter aura just ran out and well, I cannot do kills without it. So I'm going to have to say this is the last kill and uh, I don't have any more pheromones, I can't reset it. So let's just see what we get for the last loot. Uh, Alright, some ores. Mm, not too good. I think I'm actually going to pet chance this, I think, because I don't need more restores and the ores is like whatever. So yeah, I'm actually going to pet chance that. Let's see what we get. Uh, 74. Well, alright. Doesn't make a difference if we get 1 or 74. So fairly soon there's going to be a new quest release which requires you to have 75 mining, agility and divination. And they've made this like a small event where you can do all those skills if you're 65 plus in them. And I am 77 so I already have the requirement to be able to do the quest. But I thought this is like pretty good mining experience, it's very AFK -able and everything. You can get up to 800,000 experience before it's capped. So I'm going to be doing like, how much experience do I need to 80? 491,000. I'm going to be doing this on this event because it's super afk it's so easy to do and why would i pass you know i wouldn't pass up this opportunity when i have it instead of mining granite for three levels which i would despise uh, so i'm just going to be doing this to 80 and then i have the requirement to do gold deposits which is really really easy to do so yeah they're back with 80 mining which is going to be feel feeling so good it's going to feel so amazing Alright, this is a really good feeling. Let's see that 80 mining incoming and it took a couple of hours to do, wasn't really that bad to be honest with you. 2310 total level and yes, we can now do concentrated gold deposits. So it means I will never ever have to do granite in my life on this account. That feels really good. Now this is actually pretty cool, I'm going to be getting 75 farming now and the reason why it's kind of cool is because I've been talking for a long time about getting 75 baseline in all stats and that's now going to happen with farming being the last one, so there we go, that is actually really cool. I don't know if there's anything specific I can do at this level, oh yeah, magic trees, right, I have like... 100 magic seeds in the bank so that's actually going to be so good and I'm going to use them all so I'm going to probably skyrocket in levels kind of a lot because 100 magic seeds that's going to be quite a lot of experience actually so for a couple of days the Araxor path that I need is going to be blocked so I'm going to be killing ascension creatures for a couple of hours and just see how many Quintus keys that I can get and the reason why I'm doing this is because it's the last signet I need and if I do get it I'm just going to aim 100% on getting the 89 fletching and then just make the ascension crossbow and get the chaotic crossbow as an offhand but if I don't get it before the number one path is open, I'll just do Araxor again, you know. I think that's the best way of doing it. So I'm going to be killing Ascension creatures for maybe five or six hours, and let's see how many Quintus keys that I can get, and I'll get back to you guys with the results.
Well, this is quite an interesting reality check. I didn't really think about this, but in six hours I only got seven Quintus keys, and when I looked at it, I was like, wow, seven Quintus keys? That's actually really bad. But then when you think about it, there's six different keys you can get, and I got uh, seven of one specific key, and overall I probably got like 50 keys. And if you divide that, that's actually pretty normal to get seven of each key in six hours. So, uh, you know, it, it's going to be hard to get these Quintus keys, but I'm going to try my best. But yeah, six hours of keys killing ascension creatures gave me seven keys of the ones I needed so it's going to be really hard to actually get the ones I need uh, but hopefully I will be lucky enough to get something good out of these seven keys and the outcome of these keys is exactly why it's very hard for me sometimes to release videos very fast because well things take time and uh, it's very much up to RNG so I didn't get anything from this I actually think the snapdragons are very good though because that's uh, super restores and I lack them a lot so it's not too bad though, like the overall loots that I got from the 7 keys was actually good uh, in terms of, you know, what kind of things that dropped. But um, yeah, no signets, so that's kind of sad. The giant mimic is actually back to the game, so I'm going to be doing the hard kills. I think I'm going to do 5 and see what I get. I can't actually remember if it's the same drops as last time, and I can't even remember what it dropped last time. So this is going to be fairly interesting. Uh, I remember that the elite difficulty was actually kind of hard to even do on my main account, which had tier 90s. So with tier 80s and the current gear I'm using, I'm going to be doing the hard difficulty. Shouldn't have any problems with that whatsoever. So let's just do 5 kills, and then I'll come back with the loot, I guess. It looks so juicy every single time you get like a huge beam. I mean, it's completely irrelevant to any of these boxers, but it looks pretty cool still. So I'm going to be happy every single time I see it. So anyways, let's open these five crates and see what we get. Uh, so, oh, Slave VIP tickets, really? That's actually good. You know, what? I'm just going to open this real quick and see what... Did I just get only money? Wow, like 5k coins times 4 and then one Slayer VIP ticket. Alright, that was fairly disappointing, but these tickets are pretty good, so that's not too bad, I guess. I suppose this is a bit of a milestone level. I'm going to be siphoning my way over leveled anima core leggings. You can see the experience is like double of level 10, which is currently the cap anyways. So I'm going to be siphoning them and I'm going to hit 60 inventions. Let's do that real quick. So that's pretty sweet. Now I have 60 plus in all skills. Uh, I guess it's road to 75 in that as well. So I have overall 75 in all skills, I guess. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Is it uh, level one now? Well, that's kind of weird. Wait. All that experience I just did over level 10, is that us just useless now? That's pretty sad, but anyways, 60 invention is really sick. So I just hit 76 farming on a magic tree, and I'm doing magic tree and palm tree runs, you can see that on my seeds in the inventory, and doing that is actually so sweet, like it gives you so much experience, and it's so little work for it, so I'm loving that at least, I'm going to just chop this down real quick or clear it, uh, and I actually have like 400 Grenwall tickets in the bank, and you remember that I completed the tier 1 diary thingy, and you now I don't need to have the Paja meat to be able to hunt the Grenwalls, so I'm going to be actually using all that stuff up and I'm going to get well see how many Grenwall spikes I can get so hopefully that will be pretty neat results so I forgot that I had like 200 tickets actually in the bank because I used a bunch of them when I wanted to do Araxor and I just forgot about that so that I made overloads in between there but I've used like 60 plus tickets like 70 60 tickets and I've got 1,700 spikes. So getting spikes is actually extremely easy. Like, just to put in perspective, this is like 350 extreme ranging potions. And that's the ones I kind of lack, along with the extreme magic potions. So I will be able to do a shit ton of overloads really whenever I want to, as long as I can get some mod runes. So that feels really good. And honestly, I can't really do much on my account currently, but to, like, kill ascension creatures maybe, to try to get Quintus keys, but... I showed you guys in the video that it can be very much up to RNG. I can spend like two days killing ascension creatures and at the end of the day I might get 10 keys or something and not get anything from it and that's not going to be the best thing I can do I guess and then uh, I'm just waiting for a Raxor currently. You can see that on the paths the spider minions are blocked which is the ones I need. So I'm just going to end the video here and in the next video I will start off by doing a Raxor again. By the way in the start of the video I listened back and I said I'm going to do shit tons of a Raxor. I actually did 
did do it, but it doesn't look like it. Overall, as I said, I did like 25 kills, and that's actually a lot with a sun spear. It takes a very long time to do, and I, and I had to use all my pheromones as well. I only got, I did one more kill, I think, afterwards, just today, and I got a pheromone on the bottom path. So that was pretty cool. I have that in my bank now, so that I can use that when the first path opens again. But for now, this is going to be it for the video. Tomorrow, then the path that I need is going to be open. And I thank you guys so much for watching this video, even though I had some shitty RNG uh, on the keys on Quintus ones. But yeah, hopefully I will be lucky in the next video and we will get that well, very close to a tier 90. If I get the last leg piece, then I only need a hilt. And then if I get the uh, last signet, then I do have an ascension crossbow as soon as I get uh, 89 fletching. So we're getting close to a tier 90, which feels absolutely amazing. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please leave a like if you didn't like it. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Take care.